Well, hello there, Virgo. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we are going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good for the week of February 27th through March 5th. So we'll take a look first at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it. If you would consider liking, commenting, subscribing, I really do appreciate all of your support. It helps to get my message out to more people okay so let's get into your animal spirit what do we have here buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide i love that and in the flow everything is smooth sailing all right well virgo <laughs> this is lovely energy of understanding that when you are in the flow of what it is your heart desires right you are putting your time and energy into what your heart truly desires that the abundance will come whatever it is that you are working on at this time it's almost as if the gates i'm going to say the gates of abundance have been opened that is the energy like you're um okay <laughs> it's kind of like if you go to a theme park right i think you know in some theme parks you can buy a special ticket right that lets you go to the front of the line you know and i feel like that's what it is like uh, oh here's virgo virgo gets to go to the front of the line <laughs> so oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness this is beautiful Okay, so, you know, goddess of the moon, interesting. We had the new moon in Pisces yesterday. Um, I feel like, you know, if this does not uh, happen, like, you know, this week, it's uh, perhaps by the full moon. There is this energy of stepping into really opening up your third eye, your, your intuition, looking for the flow, not so much as in what can you do, Okay, although, you know, you're still working and everything, but really the flow comes when you open up your intuition. And uh, so you could be, you could find yourself like working really hard, putting a lot of time and energy into a project or something like that. But it's about opening up your intuition. It's almost like, um, it, 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 it's almost as if you're not being efficient. I guess that's what it is. You know, you're putting a lot of time and energy into it, but if you would allow yourself to just stop and rest a little bit and go into your intuition. Your spirit guides and angels have an easier way for you to get to the abundance that you are are searching for. Um, and I feel like if you don't get this kind of like int intuition around that new moon, I feel like you will by the full moon because you have a woman holding a coin and then, yes, it is woman holding a coin and contract. You know, somebody's coming in in order to help um, help bring in a commitment, okay? And with the queen, it's like the queen of pentacles energy. It does not have to be a female. But the, the energy here of somebody coming in and perhaps investing in what it is that you are, you know, maybe been working on. Yeah, you have the two of cups too, which is interesting because I haven't even shown you these other cards yet. <laughs> so let me get these out. Um, I really love this energy. Because Virgo, you know, you had all this exciting energy around the beginning of the year. And then all of a sudden, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is coming out. Um, you had all this beautiful energy at the beginning of the year. And then it was almost as if you went into a little bit of a lull with your energy. And now here's this big um, sense of energy, new energy coming your way. I love this. So let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have Emperor on the bottom. We have the Five of Wands and then we have the King of Cups. Okay, so this is how I, I feel. It's kind of like you're really trying, you're in your divine masculine energy. You're trying to create, you're, you're trying to think your way through it or do your way through it. There's this energy. It's just causing almost like more conflict for you in the real world. It's about stepping more into, this is the King of Cups, right? Stepping more into your heart, into your intuition, into your emotions about the situation, going back within. Why did you want 
to start this project, this new relationship, this job, this whatever it is you're trying to bring into the world. Why did you want to go on this path? Coming back, connecting back to your why, because I feel like you could have a little bit too much of an emphasis on what you are creating as far as the 3D. You know, how much is this costing? How much time you're putting into it, the effort? And it's almost as if you could be feeling like, well, if I'm not getting the results that I want with the amount of word work that I'm doing at this time, I'm just going to work harder. Well, <laughs> the energy here is you don't have to work harder. It's about listening to your guides, listening to your intuition, getting back in touch with your heart. That's where the flow is. The creative flow is not with the emperor. The creative flow is with the divine feminine. It is with your intuition. It is with your inner knowing. Okay, so uh, let's go to um, the tarot. So let's take a look at your present energy. Yeah, you have the door to romance. Now, for some of you, there could be a new a person coming in because we also had the two of cups that popped out, right? There is this energy of stepping into what it is that you truly love, whether this is another person, a project, or yourself. Stepping into the truth of why you love this, getting back to your why, and recommitting yourself to that. Because I feel like you have, you've almost kind of gotten up in your head with that emperor energy, you know, the emperor thinks things out, you know, um, and it's, it's almost as if you have thought yourself into a corner, you know, um, you've seen those videos where people paint, are painting a floor and they paint themselves into a corner, you know, you see that sometimes in a movie or something. But I feel like you've almost thought yourself into a corner. The way to get out of this corner okay, is to get into your intuition, almost to fly over the floor, right, to get to the door. It's almost as if you have created this, this obstacle all by yourself, okay, by trying to overthink it, trying to, um, it's almost like over strategize it, you know, spending too much time researching or, or trying to make it perfect or something like that. Yeah, it's all about <laughs> getting that. It's about going in a new direction. It, it doesn't mean you're scrapping your project or your job or your relationship. It's coming into it with a new energy, okay? Coming into it more with that Queen of Cups energy, energy the divine feminine, the intuition, and then taking action. It's not about trying to strategize it in the 3D, in your emperor energy, right? It's about, okay, wait a minute. I'm going to go back into my heart. I'm going to get that inspiration, that motivation. Why did I want to do this in the first place? Getting back into that, that's going to relight, reignite your spark inside of you. And then with the king of wands, it'll take you. You'll, you'll just be like, oh my gosh, like, Eureka, I have the answer and you'll go for it so quickly. So let's take a look at your area of resistance or your obstacle. Yeah, you don't want to change it. <laughs> I can so relate, Virgo. I can so relate because this is the energy. I put so much time and energy. No, Mary Sue, you don't understand. I have my routine. I just have to work harder. I have to work longer. Uh -uh. It's about ending that. It's about understanding that you don't have to work harder, okay, you have to, I'm going to say, feel deeper. <laughs> it's that energy of feeling more deeply for what it is that you're trying to create. Where's my king of cups? You have the king and queen of cups. It's not about, if you're, it is about romance, right? Say so you're starting a new relationship. It's not about, okay, I got to strategize. I have to think about what I'm going to do in this relationship, right? It's about feeling your way through the relationship. It's about getting caught up in the emotions of the relationship. Um, yeah, if you think about that for a minute, right? If you started dating somebody and they were strategizing, okay, step one, I asked them out. But step two, uh, I have to take them to the perfect first date, right? Step three, you know, like if you had a plan like that, right? If you went out with somebody that had a plan like that, you you would quickly be like, okay, well, do they like me? Because, you know, you you may have a suggestion. Let's go do, you know, let's, let's go for a hike or something like that. And they're like, oh, well, that's not until date 
five and we're only on date two. It's that type of energy. It's kind of like, wait a minute, let's get back into just the feelings. How do you feel about me? How do I feel about you? How do you feel about the project that you're working on? Getting back into your feelings about the project or this business that you're starting or this relationship, getting back into your feelings and letting your feelings almost a little bit, okay? Let let the take, take the energy, okay? Take control of the situation instead of trying to stick to the plan. Um, and then you have journey. Yeah, look, she's giving up complete control. She's putting her hands out to the side. She's like, okay, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with the flow, right? It's in the flow, but it's also this energy of going with the flow, going with the emotions here um, and the emotions of why you want something, getting back into your heart. I feel like you're trying to protect your heart. You don't want your heart to be broken, right? So you are it's just kind of like if you met somebody that you really were interested in and you started following this plan, maybe you got on the internet and you found, you know, the, the, the first 10 steps to, to uh, getting someone to commit to you, right? <laughs> and you start following those plans, right? Well, there's no emotion in that. Is there going to be an emotional connection with the other person if you're kind of just strategizing and just following the plan? No, of course not. Uh, okay, they're also bringing up, I, um, uh, my grandmother was a very good baker and, um, you know, she, she would, you know, be asked sometimes, you know, oh, can, you know, will you share your recipe? And she'd say, sure. And she would share the recipe and people would make it and they'd say, well, did you leave out an ingredient or something? Mine doesn't taste as good as yours. And she was like, did you love it? <laughs> In other words, her whole point was when you're making, and she was really famous for her pies, when you're making the pie, are you just following the recipe? Or are you getting, are you connecting to the people that you are making the pie for? Are you thinking of them when you're slicing the apples and making the pie crust? That was her thing. It was kind of like, I, you know, the recipe is the recipe, but it's your special sauce that you put in it. It's your love that you put in it that makes it stand out. And I feel like that is what you are being reminded of at this time. Okay, so what is your advice from spirit? Okay, I feel like you're feeling financial constraints, but it's also a little bit of that energy of not feeling good enough about yourself. And that may be sometimes when we're putting time and energy into something and it's not working out the way that we want it to, right? So you, you're not getting back out of it what you are putting into it. We feel like we just have to put more into it. <laughs> and the energy here is, no, you really don't. It's about putting more of your love into it. It's not about working harder. It's about loving deeper. Um, and here, that helps you to start this new beginning of really planting the seed. The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like the universe is bringing along a special something for you. You know, a special opportunity, a special little new idea. It could be even, you know, a comment that somebody makes or something that helps you to open up to where you're supposed to go next in whatever venture you're on, whatever it is that you're trying to create here. But the Ace of Pentacles is understanding it's a special opportunity, but if you don't tend it, it's a seed, you plant it. If you just plant it and then walk away and you don't water it and love it, then it will, will not grow to the Ten of Pentacles. It's understanding that you have an opportunity here to take it from an Ace to the Ten. The new beginning is understanding that it's about getting back into nurturing your ideas, loving your ideas, loving yourself, knowing that you're doing a great job, Virgo. You are putting the time and the effort needed into this. It's about just adding a little bit of your special sauce, a little bit of your special love will help this to nurture into that 10 of pentacles that you are seeking. Um, and on top of that, I feel like it really does go so much more smoothly. All right, let's pull the soul truth card for you to close this out. And Virgo, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. All right, let's see what we have here. Am I clear on what my soul really wants? 
I feel like for some of you, there is this confusion at this time. If some of you are looking at this just from a monetary uh, or or commitment, right? Almost like a monetary or commitment. If it's a relationship, right? You're, you're trying to get a commitment in this situation or you're trying to gain monetary abundance or fulfillment or something like that. It's about understanding that, you know, your soul doesn't really care about money. <laughs> your soul really has certain adventures, experiences, um, purposes that they want to experience. Your soul wants more than just money in the bank. Your soul wants to have those experiences of love, joy, happiness, fulfillment. So it's understanding that you may at this time be kind of concentrating on the 3D aspect of this instead of more of the soul evolution aspect of getting into your purpose, of understanding why you're doing this, of getting excited, knowing that you are helping people, that you are stepping into an energy of connecting with others. It is the connection that you are making with either one other person, right? Or perhaps your clients, your customers, your audience. It's stepping into that energy of, I want to make these connections. It's not so much about how much money do I have in the bank. When you make those connections though, think about that, then you have an audience that is really connecting to you. They will help to bring in more people that connect to you. And out of that, you can also garner the abundance that you are seeking. Really lovely energy here. Um, okay, so let's see what it says here. Take out the shoulds and the limitations. Get out of your head and pay attention to your heart's desires instead. If you knew it was impossible to fail, what would you do? Wherever you go, go with all your heart. <laughs> I love that energy. With this new moon in Pisces, it really is. It's about dreaming big, but then going after it with your heart not with, you know, a checklist. <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. I really do appreciate all of your support and I wish you so much love and light and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.